in order to migrate from one FortiGit to another one, we need to use a tool called Forti Converter to convert the configuration file. Obviously, we cannot export or import the config file directly from one device to a newer device. So, in the Forti support web, so you can go to your download page and find the Forti converter. Forti converter. Click the download and click V5, 5.6. Then you can download the latest version. You need download the PY version, okay? PY version. So PY version is a web based web based version. Basically it will install a forty converter in a local computer. So once it's installed it could be a link, then you can start it. So this is the interface. Basically you need to get your device connected first. Okay, then, yeah, this is a new device wizard. Basically, give the IP or and the login page. So, I have the 100F device. So now, in your convert, you can choose convert, choose 40 gig as the vendor and give a name. Click next. Okay, so you can give all the details and uh, pick up the target device so, and upload the configuration file you backed up from your older device. Okay, so giving all the details. So here you can see on the interface or the config. So the original model is 100D, target model 100F. So there's some warning message telling you some password. It will convert it to one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, so there's another warning saying the port has been locked up to ensure you. So, so basically, you need to make sure that MGMT was configured as the previous one. I guess my previous one disabled that port but my new one has it so it's got some warning message so you look at the source interface and the uh, fortigate interface basically you need to make sure all the interface have the corresponding uh, interface in a new device otherwise it will refuse to move forward so look at mine uh, port one two three four five six uh, they are they all don't have the interface on a new one so basically my new one probably those port were allocated to somewhere else so i need to go back to my uh, new device and release those port but anyway you you can export some information here but when you move forward you can see the mapping port doesn't exist so you either you can delete those line or you need to release the port from the new device you can customize the port to another one if you have available but here I don't have any available port for those 
so most likely they will allocate it to somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to log into my new device to release those ports. So now the ports they are all released here. So they are so here's it was allocated to a hardware switch. So I just need to go into that switch to delete all the port. Delete all the port from here. I left a couple of them as a switch still. So after I remove them from the ports, uh, they are available to map each other now. But still some of them don't have the mapping so I can simply delete those lines. Delete, yeah. Delete them. So here you go. So it's kind of complete the conversion. Okay, so this is the result. But at this moment, okay, we don't have any option to move forward to import the configuration file. The reason is this software I didn't purchase the license. So this needs a license in order to directly import to the new device. But I'm going to show you some alternative way to get it imported. It is possible to find out the converted file here. Okay, under the roaming 40 net 40 converter convention. So find out find out the your conventions, one of them, this is one of mine. So in the this is the source, apparently this is should be have the this is the result. Okay, convert migrated. So this is a converted file. At this moment, you cannot use this file to restore to your 40 gate yet. So you need to make some modify. So basically, you need download the config file. Even that config file is blank in your new device. So you need download another config file from your new device and copy the header. So this is the header I copied over from my new device. So it's 100F. So copy the header here. Probably you need to change your config file version to a bigger version. Maybe increase one or whatever. Increase one. Then if you want to change the alias name or host name, so you can change it here. So after that, so this is uh, my modified version. Apparently, must include some header information. Then you can restore it, right? So restoring a 40 gate configuration file is super easy. So that's it. Thanks for watching.